Uganda is a landlocked country in East Central Africa. It mostly sits on a central plateau covered by rainforest. It has high volcanic mountains to the eastern and western borders. Uganda's neighbors include South Sudan to the north, Kenya east, Tanzania and Rwanda south, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. On October 9, 1962, Uganda became independent, with Dr. Apollo Milton Abbott, a Lango leader of the UPC, as Prime Minister. Buganda was given considerable autonomy. In 1963, Uganda became a republic, and Mutsa was elected president. The first years of independence were dominated by a struggle between the central government and Buganda. In 1966, Abbott introduced a new constitution that ended Buganda's autonomy. The Baganda protested vigorously and seemed on the verge of taking up arms when Abbott captured the Kabeka's palace at Mengo, forced the Kabeka to flee the country, and ended effective Baganda resistance. In 1967 a new constitution was introduced giving the central government especially the president much power and dividing Buganda into four districts, the traditional kingships were also abolished. In 1969, Abbott decided to follow a leftist course in the hope of bridging the country's ethnic and regional differences through a common social policy. Uganda has since gone through turbulent times. In January, 1971, Abbott, at the time outside the country, was deposed in a coup by Maj. Gen. Idi Amin. He was to rule the country for the next eight years. In 1978, Uganda invaded Tanzania in an attempt to annex the Kajara region. Tanzania launched a successful counter-invasion in 1979 and effectively unified different anti-Amin forces under the Uganda National Liberation Front, UNLF. Amin's forces were driven out and Amin himself fled the country. Uganda was to have several heads of state under UNLF, Professor Yusuf Alul, Godfrey Binaza and Paul Muwanga as the chairman of the military commission. UNLF, suffering from internal strife, was swept out of power by Milton Abbott and his party, the Uganda People's Congress. The National Resistance Army, NRA, conducted guerrilla campaigns throughout the country and, following the withdrawal of Tanzanian troops in 1981, attacked former Amin supporters. In the early 1980s, approximately 200,000 Ugandans sought refuge in neighboring Rwanda, Congo, and Sudan. In 1985, a military coup deposed Abbott, and Lt. Gen. Tito Okolo became head of state. When it was not given a role in the new regime, the NRA continued its guerrilla campaign and took Kampala in 1986, and its leader, H.E. Yoweri Kogyoda Museveni, became the new president. Uganda adopted a new constitution in October 1995 as the supreme law of the land that has since established a foundation for democratic governance in the country. Uganda is Africa condensed, with the best of everything the continent has to offer packed into one small but stunning destination. Uganda is home to the highest mountain range in Africa, the Mountains of the Moon in the Ruanzora National Park. It is the source of the mighty Nile, and around Chinjia offers the best white water rafting in the world. It has the highest concentration of primates on Earth, including the majestic mountain gorilla, one of the rarest animals on the planet. Head to Bwindi Impenetrable National Park for a chance to get close to these great apes. On top of all this, the scenery is so striking that it looks like an oil painting, the beautiful national parks see far fewer visitors than in neighboring Kenya and Tanzania, and the capital, Kampala, is safer and friendlier than most in Africa. In 1907 pioneering tourist Winston Churchill called it the Pearl of Africa. He was right. The tourism accolades never stop coming for Uganda. On top of being voted best tourist destination for 2012, Uganda was declared Africa's preferred birding destination in October after Africa Bird Club voted two of Uganda's birding sites among the top ten birders' destinations in Africa. Bwindi was, actually, voted the best birding site in Africa with Murchison coming in at number nine, and with over 1,050 bird species within its borders, Uganda sits comfortably among the best birding destinations in the whole world. 
Birding is one of the most important tourist activities in the world garnering chunks of money for countries that have given it priority. To ensure that Uganda stays in the international tourism limelight, the Ministry of Tourism and other stakeholders have declared 2013-2014 the year of birding in Uganda. The Minister of Tourism, Wildlife, and Antiquities Ms. Maria Mutagamba did the declaration at Kazenj Resort Beach in Mukano on Saturday. As we begin our journey through our next 50 years of independence allow me declare Uganda as the favorite birding destination for 2013-2014, said an evidently joyful Mutagamba. This declaration comes weeks after BirdLife International, a global program on conservation and protection of birds and their habit ants, alongside Nature Uganda announced that there are 34 important bird areas in Uganda with diverse bird species that qualify Uganda to be the leading birding destination on the continent. Mutagamba said that Uganda has been priding in recent accolades like the one of Lonely Planet which was influenced by the iconic mountain gorillas but birds will give Uganda even new dimensions and more options to shine on international tourism market. The minister said the two accolades provide an important avenue and platform for showcasing Uganda's rich bird diversity that shows the country's endowment of having 1,056 bird species that account for 10% of the globe's total bird species and 50% of Africa's bird species population. Uganda Tourism Board Executive Director Cuthbert Bakuma said that it's now very important to start promoting the country as a major birders destination. This country is for all Ugandans that calls for patriotism by positively promoting the country in order not to kill the thriving tourism industry, he said. He said they want to form a crisis management committee responsible for responding to all negative publicity that has smeared the country's image, especially on the relentless Ebola and Marburg cases. There needs to be a committee which counters these negative and, most of the times, exaggerated stories and show people that things are under control added Baguma. And there. Mr. Abair Biarahanga, the chairman Uganda Safari Guides Association, Yosaga, said that Uganda beats many African countries in having rare bird species that can bring in money but the business hasn't been tapped into. He said that despite being a landlocked country, Uganda has over 1,000 bird species including migratory birds which normally flock ocean coasts. He also emphasized the fact that birding needs as much promotion as gorilla tracking. A gorilla tracking tourist may only spend two to three days leaving only 500 US dollars for a gorilla permit and maybe some more little dollars but a tourist interested in birding will spend between 14 to 21 days and they spend over $5,000 and that should be simple mathematics of what is more important, he said. The guides also said that usually tourists who come in for birding also do gorilla tracking yet those who come to see the primates are specific. Uganda is a fairy tale. You climb up a railway instead of a beanstalk, and at the end there is a wonderful new world, wrote Sir Winston Churchill, who visited the country during its years under British rule and who called it the Pearl of Africa. Indeed, Uganda embraces many ecosystems, from the tall volcanic mountains of the eastern and western frontiers to the densely forested swamps of the Albert Nile River and the rainforests of the country's central plateau. The land is richly fertile, and Ugandan coffee has become both a mainstay of the agricultural economy and a favorite of connoisseurs around the world. Uganda obtained formal independence on October 9, 1962. Its borders, drawn in an artificial and arbitrary manner in the late 19th century, encompassed two essentially different types of societies, the relatively centralized Bantu kingdoms of the south and the more decentralized Nilotic and Sudanic peoples to the north. The country's sad record of political conflict, coupled with environmental problems and the ravages of a countrywide AIDS epidemic, hindered progress and growth for many years. Yet, even so, at the beginning of the 21st century a popularly elected civilian government ruled Uganda, which had attained political stability, had set an example for tackling the AIDS crisis that threatened to overwhelm the continent, and enjoyed one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. Uganda is bordered by South Sudan to the north, Kenya to the east, Tanzania and Rwanda to the south, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. The capital city, Kampala, is built around seven hills not far from the shores of Lake Victoria, 
which forms part of the frontier with Kenya and Tanzania. Most of Uganda is situated on a plateau, a large expanse that drops gently from about 5,000 feet, 1,500 meters, in the south to approximately 3,000 feet, 900 meters, in the north. The limits of Uganda's plateau region are marked by mountains and valleys. To the west a natural boundary is composed of the Virunga, Mufumbiro, mountains, the Ruwenzori Range, and the western Rift Valley. The volcanic Virunga Mountains rise to 13,540 feet, 4,125 meters, at Mount Muhavira and include Mount Sabanyo, 11,959 feet 3,645 meters, where the borders of Uganda, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Rwanda meet. Farther north the Ruwenzori Range popularly believed to be Ptolemy's Mountains of the Moon rises to 16,762 feet, 5,109 meters, at Margarita Peak, Uganda's highest point, its heights are often hidden by clouds, and its peaks are capped by snow and glaciers. Between the Virunga and Ruwenzori Mountains lie Lakes Edward and George. The rest of the boundary is composed of the Western Rift Valley, which contains Lake Albert and the Albert Nile River. The northeastern border of the plateau is defined by a string of volcanic mountains that include Mounts Marungali, Marato, and Kudum, all of which exceed 9,000 feet, 2,750 meters, in elevation. The southernmost mountain Mount Elgon is also the highest of the chain, reaching 14,178 feet, 4,321 meters. South and west of these mountains is an eastern extension of the Rift Valley, as well as Lake Victoria. To the north the plateau is marked on the South Sudanese border by the Amatong Mountains, with an elevation of about 6,000 feet, 1,800 meters. Uganda's Lake Victoria, 26,828 square miles 69,484 square km, in the southeastern part of the country, is the world's second largest inland freshwater lake by size after Lake Superior in North America, although Lake Baikal in Siberia is larger by volume and depth. Victoria is also one of the sources of the Nile River. Five other major lakes exist in the country, Edward and George to the southwest, Albert to the west, Kyuga in central Uganda, and Bisona in the east. Together with the lakes, there are eight major rivers. These are the Victoria Nile in central Uganda, the Akwa, Okeoke, and Pager in the north, the Albert Nile in the northwest, and the Kafu, Katanga, and Mpungo in the west. The southern rivers empty into Lake Victoria, the waters of which escape through Owen Falls near Jinjia and form the Victoria Nile. This river flows northward through the eastern extension of Lake Kyuga. It then turns west and north to drop over Karuma Falls and Murchison Falls before emptying into Lake Albert. Lake Albert is drained to the north by the Albert Nile, which is known as the Al Jabal River, or Mountain Nile, after it enters South Sudan at Nemuel. Rivers that rise to the north of Lake Victoria flow into Lake Kyuga, while those in the southwest flow into Lakes George and Edward. Except for the Victoria and Albert Niles, the rivers are sluggish and often swampy. Clear streams are found only in the mountains and on the slopes of the Rift Valley. Most of the rivers are seasonal and flow only during the wet season, and even the few permanent rivers are subject to seasonal changes in their rates of flow. Much of southern Uganda has been deforested, but a significant portion of the country's area has been placed in its 10 national parks. Murchison Falls National Park the largest such park in Uganda, with an area of 1,480 square miles, 3,840 square km, is bisected by the Victoria Nile. Queen Elizabeth National Park is about half the size of Murchison Falls and is in the Lake Edward, Lake George Basin. Windy impenetrable forest, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, contains about half of the world's population of endangered mountain gorillas, and Gahinga Gorilla National Park is also home to this rare mammal. Ruwenzora Mountains National Park, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, contains the country's highest mountain, Margarita Peak.
the region was occupied by rebel forces in the late 1990s. There are at least 32 languages spoken in Uganda, but English and Swahili both official languages and Ganda are the most commonly used. English is the language of education and of government, and, although only a fraction of the populace speaks English well, access to high office, prestige and economic and political power is almost impossible without an adequate command of that language. Swahili was chosen as another official national language because of its potential for facilitating regional integration, although Ugandan's command of Swahili falls substantially below that of Tanzania, Kenya and even Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. In addition, Swahili is unpopular with a large proportion of Ugandans who consider it the language of past dictators and armies. Uganda's indigenous languages are coextensive with its different ethnic groups. In addition to English, French, and Swahili, Radio Uganda broadcasts in more than 20 indigenous languages including Alur, Ganda, Lugbara, Masaba, Rwanda, Nkali, Nyol, Soga, Antizo, Aitso. Most Ugandans can understand several languages. Kampala, the capital, is the largest city, others include Jinjia, Mbul, Masaka, Antebi, and Gilu, all except for Gilu located in the south. Urban centers have grown because of a rural urban movement within the south itself as well as a migration from the north to southern towns. The economy is basically agricultural, and it occupies some four-fifths of the working population. Uganda's moderate climate is especially congenial to the production of both livestock and crops. Being a landlocked state, Uganda relies heavily on Kenya and Tanzania, particularly the former, for access to the sea. The country has more than 620 miles 1,000 kilometers, of rail line, but rail travel is now infrequently used by the public. Linking Kampala with Kailandini Harbour at Mombasa, Kenya, is a rail line that passes via Jinjia, Tororo, Lizaru, Nakuru, and Naivisha. Kampala is also connected to the north by a rail line that crosses the Pakwak Bridge and to the western parts of the country by a line that reaches the border town of Cases. The main international airport is at Entebbe, Uganda's former capital, about 20 miles, 30 kilometers, west of Kampala. By the end of the 20th century, air travel had expanded to include major international carriers as well as numerous local air companies, which serviced the interior of the country. Kisaro in the far southwestern corner of the country, bordering the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda, gained an airstrip in 1999. There are about 16,650 miles 26,800 kilometers, of roads in Uganda, but only a small fraction of them are paved. A number of road repair projects are underway, but much of Uganda's road system is in great need of repair. There is limited shipping service on the Kajura River and on Lakes Albert and Victoria. Primary education begins at six years of age and continues for seven years. Secondary education begins at 13 years of age and consists of a four-year segment followed by a two-year segment. The largest and most important museum in the country is the Uganda Museum in Kampala. Others include those at Murchison Falls and Queen Elizabeth National Parks. The tombs of Bug and Dockings at Kajubi, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2001, a former palace converted into a royal burial ground in the 19th century, provided a glimpse into Ganda history and cultural traditions before being destroyed by fire in March 2010. National parks, such as Bwindi Impenetrable, Ruwenzora Mountains, both designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1994, and Gahinga Gorilla, are an important part of Uganda's emerging ecotourism industry. Sports is a vastly popular cultural activity, with millions of Ugandans supporting their favorite football, soccer, teams. Kampala is home to one of the largest sports stadiums on the continent, completed in the late 1990s. Boxing and wrestling are also immensely popular. The country's first Olympic gold medal was earned by John Aki Bua, who competed in the men's 400-meter hurdles at the 1972 Summer Olympics in Munich. Thank you for watching this video fans.